This is the High School Football America 2-Minute Drill podcast for July 26, 2018. I'm Jeff Fisher. The High School Football America 2-Minute Drill is brought to you by the Debris Inhibitor Razor. Stop those pesky rubber pellets from field turf from getting into your shoes with a TDI razor that also gives you the great look of spatting without the high cost of tape. Well, there are only two teams left in our online social media battle for which is the best state for high school football in America. We started Monday allowing uh, all of our followers followers on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to vote for the best state. We had eight teams that were determined through our proprietary algorithm that uh, creates our national rankings, and then uh, we uh, put them to the test. Uh, Everybody got votes, but uh, in the end, it came down to today's semifinals with a birth in the finals, which will start on Friday, which is tomorrow at noon Eastern time. Texas easily getting by the Buckeye State, which surprised California in the, uh, or at least surprised me, I guess, in the quarterfinal round. The Lone Star State, the top seed, they have 14 teams in the High School Football America preseason 100. They're in the final and a very much anticipated matchup. I, I see a lot of votes going on over 48 hours between Friday and Sunday to decide which state is the best. The Lone Star State taking on Florida in the finals. Florida had its hands full in the semis. Uh, doing battle with its, with its neighbor, Georgia. But in the end, uh, Florida was able to come up with 52% of the vote to move on into the championship. Everything gets started in the finals for 48 hours until Sunday at noontime, Eastern Time. You can vote on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to determine which state plays the best high school football. It's been a lot of fun, and thanks to everybody that's kept uh, you know the discussion very clean. Not, not too many negatives being thrown back and forth at each other, but who knows? Uh, I, I think there's uh, some arguments on both sides when it comes to the finals between Florida and Texas. Speaking of Texas, my book, High School Football in Texas, amazing football stories from the greatest players of Texas, hitting bookstores and will begin shipping for those that have pre-ordered it. On September the 4th, you can pre-order it right now online at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and wherever books are sold, so it ships right away on September the 4th. Over uh, two dozen interviews with uh, current and past NFL players discussing their favorite high school football memories. Uh, Nine of those players uh, from the Pro Football Hall of Fame, a couple from the College Football Hall of Fame, some are in both. And uh, they all talk about uh, their fondest memories from high schools, uh, high school days. And uh, a lot of these stories, many of these stories, maybe almost every one of them really has not been told in this format. So very excited. You can go to highschoolfootballamerica.com to check out all of the links to pre-order the book. And as we've been doing over the last uh, 10, 11 days or so, today is uh, another day for bonus audio. I uh, taped all of the interviews that I did with these wonderful players that uh, just were so gracious to give of their time. And uh, today we're going to hear from Pro Football Hall of Fame wide receiver Don Maynard, who uh, had an interesting upbringing as his uh, daddy and uh, moved him all over the state of Texas, usually in the western part of the state, uh, all for jobs, as Don told me, and uh, played six-man football to start out. And then he finished his career in uh, Colorado City in western Texas. Colorado spelled just like Colorado, and that's the soundbite, the bonus soundbite we're going to play from Don today as he um, very politely informed me that it was not Colorado City. Going back to Colorado City, then, do you recall any of um, any of those games? How good was your team? Uh, any of your your teammates? Any fond memories of those times at Colorado City with football? Well, uh, not not the not the sound rude, but uh, the the way you pronounce that school is Colorado. Like R A I D sit in and uh you know, uh uh I uh, uh I was t- told that after uh, you know, a couple of days or something, but uh you know, when a person doesn't know, well, you know, that's uh, just like you. Uh if you if you, if you don't know, well you, you don't know. Just you know. I used to kid them about how they pronounced my 
my name, but that's no big deal. <laughs> but uh, it, it worked out real good, you know, and the track, the track situation got me a scholarship, and I started a college at Rice University, and uh, but I came home, I think, five times the first semester, and I didn't come home to visit. I came home to stay, but, but uh, you know, my dad said, you know, you, you need to get an education or get down, get back down there. So I, I went back, I went back all those times and, and then I transferred to Texas Western at that time in El Paso. And, uh, um, I, uh, I, uh, wound up with a roommate from high school. And so it worked out real good. I had an absolute blast with Don Maynard, the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame receiver. More importantly, I now know how to say Colorado City, and I actually stopped in Colorado City uh, on my trip east, our last uh, road trip east uh, there in West Texas, and had a chance to see the Wolves' uh, wonderful stadium there. Beautiful, a lot different with AstroTurf, uh, field turf, than it was when Don played there. But uh, it's stories uh, like he told there from high school. That's what the book is about. It's all high school memories. Earl Campbell, uh, Eric Dicker, Mean Joe Green, Ken Houston, nine Hall of Famers and all in the book, and uh, each and every guy uh, to a man very, very willing to uh, talk about all of the things they enjoyed about their high school football careers, where it began, you know, where it all began for them. And uh, in, like I said, nine cases, it ended up in the Hall of Fame and a couple of Hall of Fame, uh, college football Hall of Fame uh, people in there, too. We had Gene Stallings on the podcast a couple of days ago. We had Jerry Sizemore from the University of Texas. Uh, All this sound, uh, all those sound bites, the interviews, you can hear the bonus audio, the stuff that you won't find in the book, uh, is actually right now online at highschoolfootballamerica.com. If you're listening to this one right now, if you look down the story where you clicked on the audio, you'll see the interviews with um, some of the players that I mentioned. The High School Football America 2-Minute Drill is brought to you by the Debris Inhibitor Razor. And that's today's High School Football America 2-Minute Drill podcast, giving you up-to-the-minute high school football news and plenty of storytelling. Listen on our website or iTunes, Stitcher, or TuneIn Radio. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at HSFB America, Facebook, and Instagram. There, our handle is High School Football America, and it's for the latest news throughout the day. Thanks for listening to the High School Football America 2-Minute Drill. I'm Jeff Fisher.